we want to welcome everyone uh, back to the kingdom of, of, of champions. But teachers are are slated to come back next Tuesday, um, full force uh, on campus. Uh, and so that's that's been the decision made by the district based on the Region 19 um, stipulations that, that we have that we've been below um, certain criteria. We were in orange zone. We've dropped from the red zone to the orange zone. Um, the uh, the most probably the, the 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 latest update is that we we don't know when when students may be may be coming back. Um, that is still pending, um, based on yesterday's board meeting. Ready? I think one of the things that that students and families need to be made aware of is that we are a closed campus. We have about close to 350 students 350 students um, registered to come back, but that that survey was was out uh, a few months ago. So it could be that that families have changed their mind just based on our our our, our city situation, and and so we've got about 350 students that that should be making it Monday through Thursday on campus physically here on campus. But students just need to be aware uh, things are, are are a little bit different from a normal year, and and the closed campus I think is is a tough one for many of our students that are used to uh, walking across the street to many of our our local restaurants. So they'll either have to bring a lunch or or they'll have to uh, enjoy some of our delicious cafeteria food, but that's probably one of the biggest changes uh, that, that they'll see through along with all the safety protocols that uh, are implemented uh, from this point forward. First of all, I want to thank all of our our our, our fall sports. Uh, we, we, we did a great job with all of those activities. Uh, right now we are in, in winter sports. Currently we will be having fans in um, in in outside sports like soccer. Uh, and that's that's going to be uh, that's going to be a pass list where where a, an athlete can bring in uh, two two relatives uh, from their household to to enjoy that. Uh, we're, we're still going to continue uh, videotaping many of many of our games. Uh, cheer is back on. Uh, uh, many of our programs like uh, wrestling, they're 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 coming on on back on campus for for training. So our seasons, all of our all of our winter sports are a full go as as of as of right now. Uh, so things are so fluid that maybe in, in a month things are changing, but we're hoping for the best in, in everything that is taking place with regards to vaccinations and, and our safety protocols, uh, uh, not only within our, our campus, but uh, our district and our city that at, at some point we, uh, we open up full blown uh, all activities. Uh, but those are probably the, the biggest updates with regards to um, to our athletics and, and our fine arts. Our dance teams are coming back and practicing and, and, and for for, acti for competitions in, in February and March. Uh, but uh, cheer is excited to be back on campus as well and, and cheering at games. So those are those are our latest uh, updates with with activities. And and uh, we're pr we're planning for more senior senior uh, activities that just like we had uh, back in back in December. So our student activities will continue to coordinate with our coaches so that we celebrate our seniors through drive through uh, type uh, celebrations uh, using our parking lots and uh, and making sure that our families and our and our students are are there to receive that those warm wishes uh, of, of all the great stuff that they've done throughout the four years. Uh, and now as seniors are being uh, celebrated by their families and, and, and their peers. You know what? I I I want to I want to make sure that our knights know that whether they stay on on online or they are on campus, they're going to continue to receive a, a great experience. Um, as a family, you all have to make that decision of what best uh, fits for 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 you at this time. Uh, but just understand that we we are ready for our knights. Uh, safety protocols are in place. Uh, our teachers are on campus. They're they're excited uh, to see our our students uh, back uh, in, in our halls. But either way, whether whether you decide to stay online or, or, or come on campus, uh, just understand that that this year is not a wash. We have to continue making sure that we have great attendance, that our, we're receiving credit for our classes and doing our best, we're doing our best uh, uh, to, to finish, uh, and not, not, not only finish a, a, a school year, that, that started off uh, with, with a pandemic concern, but the hope is that as, as we start closing out this, this year uh, and this academic year is that uh, you're gonna be, you're gonna be ready for the, for the next year where we're doing registrations right now. And, and so we're anticipating great things for the spring semester, but we, we, we don't want those hiccups uh, for, for the following year. So attendance academics, Make sure that you keep that at, at the forefront. Reach out to your teachers. Uh, log in, and and if 
you know, you need that support, reach out to counselors, reach out to, to the campus administration, to, to your teachers to make sure that you receive all your full credits that you had to for this coming up year. But, but we are, we're, we're super excited for, for all of our, our, our students. I, I, I want to give a quick reminder uh, of the early college high school uh, experience that, that, that we have here uh, coming up for a second year, our first year. Uh, has been outstanding. Our first cohort, they, they've they they've gotten they've received credit from EPCC. So on their transcript, they are full fledged uh, college students. But our second group that we are currently uh, recruiting, uh, 125 uh, possible nights in our early college high school. We also want to make sure that they continue their applications uh, to to be part of something great. Our seniors uh, make sure that those applications, uh, those scholarship opportunities that you are applying. Uh, everywhere so that you graduate in June uh, with with your class of, of 2021, our kingdom of 2021. So looking forward to an awesome spring uh, and, and and even even better preparation for the following uh, year. Uh, we're doing registration. So we're excited. We're excited. Uh, and, and like like we always try to close out. Uh, we love you and there's nothing you can do about it. So thank you for everything. Uh, uh, 2021 is gonna is gonna be filled with lots of excitement, uh, but everyone's gonna have to do their part in order for us to finish up strong. Hello, Knights. It's that time of year again when we get to choose our classes for the next semester. Look up your course selections. Your teachers can assist you with which courses you should take next. Once you have chosen your courses, go to the Student Access Center. Log in with your username and student ID. Go to Classes, then select the Request tab. Choose the area of study. Select the specific class that you want or need to take. Press Save. Repeat for all the rest of the classes you want to enroll in. For specialty classes, make sure you have the permission of the instructor to sign up. Juniors and seniors, you are allowed to select non-schedules and have a shorter day. Ask your teacher or counselor if you want this option and choose which periods would work best for you. Remember, this is only if you're up to date with all your classes. Let's have a great registration session to make sure you have all your credits necessary for graduation, especially seniors. Do a self-audit to make sure you're on the right track to graduate this year. This is Liliana Rollins, Night Vision News.